Hi, this is Nick Welker speaking. I just want to say welcome to my family farm, and I hope you all have a great time farming. And for those of you who don't know who that was, that would have been Nick Welker right over here on the, on the very far right, um, giving us that little audio sample there. Um, yeah, hello folks. Um, sorry for that. I was just reading that little thing there. Um, this is Walker Farms, as you just heard Nick uh, quite so quite so nicely explain here. Um, this is their family farm, the very realistic farm. Um, obviously, it does exist. Um, if it was made by Mappers Paradise, and it is a very, very nicely done map, um, I must say. Um, it is one that has been very much hyped and very much anticipated since it was first announced by, you know, well, I should say not announced by, but very anticipated by others, um, and myself included. So let's go ahead and have a little tour here. We'll go ahead and get started. First off, we're just going to start by driving around here. We do have the very nice little house here. Another very nice um, little garage area here. I'm not sure if any of these open. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. It does. Okay. I forgot that one open. Okay, that one does. Um, it's so nice little area. You can put your car in there. This one, however, does not open. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and move on. Um, you see the two houses back here. Uh, very nicely done. I do believe... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, that is Mr. Nick Walker's uh, little house there. Um, <laughs> as you can see, Mr. Hollywood. Um, knock, knock, Mr. Hollywood. Anyone home? It's time for your debut, man. Well, no, nah, I guess we'll have to come back later. Shit. Design Beast. Very nice. There's a little sports bag there. Um, let's see. Okay, very nice. Okay, on to these back here. Um, obviously, these are the real storage uh, grain areas in real life. Um, obviously, for in the game purposes, you know, they're just decoration here. As there really is no way to actually make them functioning in the game the way they're set up. So, um, in the game, they're just basically, like I said, they're basically just, um, just for decoration as to what their real farm looks like. So, um, I'll go ahead and move on. Uh, we do have a nice little New Holland Baylor over here. Very nice. Which, obviously, I should say that and the trailer right here are both movable. This, however, is just... Yeah, this is just decoration, this middle one here. So, I might use that a bit later. This is one of their garage areas. Um, nice little case in here. We I don't know, we have a couple cases. We do have a cultivator and we do have a cedar here by Amazon. Very nice. Um, and these do these garage doors do go do open up, obviously. Um, as you can see, I have them all lifted up here. Now this this is the best part. Um, this is actually the workshop that where they conduct all their uh, repairs and everything, what so have you. And if you've ever seen <clears throat> if you've ever seen their videos of Walker Farms, you know exactly what this building is. So um, it's very nice. And up here we do happen to have. An actual picture of the 425 Big Brute, um, which I actually have sitting outside the outside the building here. I'll show you just a minute. Um, let's see, does it open? No. Uh, we do have a nice little lift here. It does not actually lift anything. It's just for decoration, as most of the stuff is. Montana flag, yeah. 
Ooh, a very nice engine there. Looks like a cat engine. Could very possibly be. And over here we do have the two very, very goofy, uh, very goofy guys, uh, goofballs, I should say. Um, that would be Scott Welker. That would be Mr. Leg Arms. And over here, this bag of bones is <laughs> Mr. Nick Walker, who looks like he could definitely use use some tips on how to beef up from Mr. Scott Walker over here. So, looking good, buddy, but you might need a haircut. So, all right, I'll let you boys keep going about your business, and I'll move on. Um, over here, we do have a very nice little setup area. Um, I do believe Nick said that there is actually another like little wall here that separates this from all the rest of this. So, I mean, obviously this is never going to be like 100% accurate, but that being said, it is also a very, very nicely done thing. So, Now, over here is the big reveal of what literally just came out um, yesterday as it's now the next day I'm recording this. So... Um, literally just came out yesterday. People have been people did not even know that Black Sheep Mod was making this. Uh, myself and v like maybe very few select others actually knew about this. Um, we all kept it quiet. There was no word ever said about it because we didn't want people freaking out over it. Um, and I mean that in a good way, but it's like we didn't want to be you know it. It's like one of those things you just gotta keep it quiet until it's released and let people freak out about it. Um, it is Big Brood. It is their actual sprayer that they have on this farm. Um, it's a combination of many different things. Um, a floater truck. Um, the sprayer up here is actually off a real, off a real sprayer, uh, sprayer that was pulled by a tractor. And this hood up here is actually off a real Big Bud. So it's a kind of a combination of many different things to make one magnificent machine. Now, obviously, that um, that engine you hear is actually the real recording of this, of the uh, engine itself on the real machine. So it's very nice to have something like that in the game. Um, and let's see the door. Yep. And yeah, the door does open up, and it does have the Walker Farms logo on it. <laughs> very nice little. Very nice horn, if I don't mean to toot my own by saying it. And yeah, there's that, there's that logo which I do, I do love that logo. Shelby Montana, Walker Farms, established 1912. That is a very nice logo. Um, I guess I should say, um, what you're looking at here with the numbers moving up, um, that is obviously a mile per hour. And then you have over here on the side, if you can see it, it is actually the time. So. You know, you do have uh, mile per hour and time. Basically, everything else is just decoration. Um, but yeah, this is so well done by Black Sheep Mining. It's it's unbelievable. Uh, there was one other thing I was gonna say. What was it? But yeah, I mean, the whole thing is just really well done. It's amazing how fast he does mods. Um, oh, and I guess I should say over here is well <laughs> this is actually um i know i'm gonna catch flock for <laughs> saying this and nick and ben will probably <laughs> give me crap for it but obviously if you've seen their farm in real life this shed here does not exist on their farm this is something that was made um by black sheep mining this is actually based off a shed that we have at our farm and we have all sorts of different colors made for the shed for the game so this being a blue one just kind of fits right in with the rest of their um basically the rest of their um buildings over here so um i figured you know what <laughs> i want you guys to see um if you see their farm real life a little area here where it's all just like flat grass and everything this actually would be um in real life the rest of this field here i did have to delete some of it just to put a shed here because there's almost nowhere to put a shed on here which I didn't realize till I got here so I didn't take a little bit of land out sorry Nick but you know that's just how it goes um let's see what else did I miss did I miss anything um I don't think I did and I may say this guys this may have to be a two-part video because this is 
there's like literally this is like so much to talk about here so oh and it just did a little swing set that was recently just put in too so that's very nice Rose and Taryn oh that's nice I didn't know that was on there huh son of a gun nice big rocks there but that was a pain in the butt getting those there I can almost guarantee it Let's see where else do I want to go okay next I guess we can go up to the straw barn Find the laws of physics with this car, I tell you. Little straw barn up here. Um, placing your straw bales and whatnot and what have you um, up here for money. Always good to know. And I'm not sure is that little. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm not sure if you have to place them in here or just, like, right out in front. Maybe you have to place them in here. I'm not sure. Huh. Hey, nice little scooter there. Object too heavy. Yeah, right. Huh. Very nice. And I do believe the last one we're going to go through for part one here is the... Yeah, we'll go ahead and go to the Walker Rain Elevator first. And then obviously I'm going to have to, you know, stop this and do a part two, which will cover the, the shop and the... CHS Grain Elevator and the uh, McCoy Millwork area, so um, trying to get this all in one is just going to be impossible. I know that right now. So I love this car. You can really get around this map quick with it. <laughs> and spin out if you're not paying attention. <laughs> Um, real quick, yeah, this is their, um, this is the grain elevator area, another place. Um, you can see here a nice little bit of storage for that combine sitting there. Um, nice little sprayer there that's actually usable. Um, bins here. Um, I do want to say this is nice. It's like actually having a little area they could drive over in the grain will actually go into those bins. Um, then here would be your output, which going under them, you choose whatever grain you want, and then it will load your wagon, and you'd be ready for selling it. So, And then, yeah, all the rest of this over here is all decoration stuff. So, nice little lizard combines there. Oh, okay, yeah, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and end part one here. Um, as I should probably be getting some sleep, so I will do part two probably tomorrow. Um, so I will catch you guys later, and I hope you enjoy this first part one of upload of Walker Farms. And I will catch you guys later.